Thinking of selling your property but don't know what's the right price tag to put? Here are some things you need to know before selling your property. In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the right selling price for your property so that you can sell it quickly and without any hassle. Hi, my name is Nigel and I've been a realtor for 10 years now. One of the most common questions people ask me is what is the good selling price? We are going to go through some different tips and tricks on how to figure out what will work best for both you and your buyer. A lot of people don't know how to go about this because there's too much online information out there. This can be really confusing, but I'm here to break down everything for you with some helpful tips. Number one, finding out what's the selling price that are unique from others in the same estate. Opportunities or threats. Are there any external factors that will help or harm your property's price? Is there a new shopping mall? A new MRT coming up in your estate. You will need to convince yourself that your unit is special to a few factors. If you can't even convince yourself, how are you going to sell it? So make sure you find out. Number two, understanding the demand and supply balance in the area. We need to know whether our home is facing an upward trend or a downward price trend. For instance, right now HDB prices went up 4 to 5%. Why is that so? Because of the current COVID situation, which affected many foreign workers, causing a delay in BTO constructions. Many home buyers opt for resale instead for a quicker buying process, thus a surge in demand. And with that in mind, people might opt for private resale property because of the long wait. Number three, study the transacted price of a similar property. This is one of the most important factors. You'll definitely need to know the past transacted price in order to put a price tag. You do not want to overprice to scare away potential buyers or underpriced to lose out when selling your property. As I belong to one of the Singapore's largest real estate agencies, I have a network of more than 10,000 agents to date and I can effectively tap into the property market at a fast speed and at the best price. Number four, always price it higher than the cheapest and increase according to the value of the property in terms of the selling points. For example, different facing command different premium. Sometimes a pool facing unit can cost up to 100k more than a non pool facing. All of this is crucial when it comes to selling your home. As long as we study our competitors well enough, we will be able to know how to price correctly and not too high and not too low. I hope you find this enlightening and informative before pricing your unit. If there's any more questions that you have, feel free to reach out to me anytime and I'll be happy to assist you. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll share with you more bite-sized insights into the property industry or tell me what topic would you like to hear next.